All right, here we are in round number three. Uh, this is a perfectly fine hand. Got Paul's Beast on turn. Yeah, Sin Collector on turn three. Beautiful throw to kick things off. Uh, or not kick things off, as the case may be. He's gonna stay back and block anyway. That was still a bad mistake. Sorry, uh, I rewatched the uh, last Game of Thrones episode. Uh, I may have post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh man, that's a lot of blood. I love it so much though. Ooh, that's gonna be difficult to race. It's not too bad though. So, what we can do here is we're going to take a look at his hand, and we'll, then we'll know whether we can double block or not next turn. Kay. So he's got course and might, but no green mana, so that means we can double block. Choose, oh, we exile that, actually, so that's right. All right, so he has a bronze beak moa, and then two lands. So yeah, we definitely stay back and double block. Oh, that's no good. That was a good draw for him. All right. So he's got a bronze big mole and was it mountain or something? Um, I think we saw arms beast. And then everybody stays back to block. Don't know if I'm willing to trade Alms Beast for these two things, but if I have to. Alright, so I guess I go ahead and attack and then play Cart uh, Ogre Slum Lord. I don't think, yeah, my, my main pro issue is if he has another act of treason or something, and whether, um, yeah, I don't see any way around, like, if he wants to just two for one himself here. I don't have any way around that, so. I guess he could make a point for playing Kingpin's Pet there and leaving up regeneration mana, and then they can start extorting next turn. That's a reasonable case, but his ability is pretty nice. We can do the Cartel Aristocrat next turn. Curb roused about, alright. Uh, maybe I should have attacked with the Slumlord there. going to go ahead and do that. Play the Kingpin's Pet. And then um, should be able to start extorting up some life next turn. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that pre-combat just to make sure I get it in. Go ahead and 
attack like this. Which is a little conservative, but whatever. Probably actually should have left the dutiful thrall back instead of one of the rat tokens. But I'm just trying to play around stuff. Acts of treason, etc. So it's possible he's got like a significant green splash and he just hasn't uh Oh, he finally found the forest. Alright. Alright. That slows me down a fair bit. Alright, Piker. So I think the safest play is just to attack with the Kingpin's pet and then Grim Rouse about extort. I think that's the best play. Make sure I get this extort trigger off. So the right pikers gonna have to attack into us next this turn. We can just get in front. I'm gonna use a dutiful throw, I guess. Actually, we'll use a roust about. Don't want to use both of them. Also, don't want to put the slum lord in the line of fire if possible. So I think just the soul tithing the bones big moa. Let me extort that. Uh, actually I should have waited till post combat to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and send in the rats. problem we're at self replace I think we got this game in the bag that madcap skills during skyjack was scary though uh, unfortunately we don't really have that much we can really do about it except double block or really spectacle for an Orzov deck, we're surprisingly low on removal, although I guess actually, what is it, Loss works on that too if he does it to a Skyjack. I still haven't drawn that card. I was watching someone else's draft video when they had uh, the Ooze Flux, the enchantment that works with plus one, plus one uh, counters. And they had like three Evolve creatures in their whole deck, maybe four, and I was like, that card's just not going to do anything and they wa I watched them for three rounds and they never drew the card not coincidentally they they won at least two of those matches so all right yeah well we'll run it like this we're going to be going in second so cut a land add, add this guy he trades and or gains some life Um, I'm gonna keep with the rest about so Temple Garden, okay. Yep, too much land. I did cut the one land, so shouldn't happen too much. But yeah, him passing that back to us is super important. Um 
don't think having the regeneration is more important than having the extra power. Like that might cost us some damage, but whatever. Us just staying alive is the most important thing right now. Yeah, so he's uh, Maya Colors. You quit with the lands. So I think I'm actually just going to pass because having him with the regeneration mana will keep potentially keep back the Rush Rider and the Greenside Watcher. So that's more important than throwing out a 2-3 right now. Hopefully you draw the 3-2 uh, guy. Yeah, so he gets third for no damage. So I'll just pass the turn back. And then eventually we'll have enough land to do this stuff. Maze rusher. Okay. That's a bit of an issue. So I think take air uh, okay. Yeah. If I had the opportunity there I would take out the brush strider. As is. So I can play the Zerichi Tiger here, or I could play the Maze Abomination. I think just playing the I think I just need to keep up the regeneration. So Regeneration is pretty important here. Also, this makes it less valuable to him because uh, the Zerichi Tiger can and will block the Inside Watcher and or Boros Mastiff. So I'm super happy he did not curve out. So my life total is still reasonable here. Doesn't have a trick. And he does have a trick. Oh well. So I think we soul tithe the maze rusher and then night watch. So we can get some trades on. And then, yeah. If we still had the uh, Zerichi Tiger, that would be good. So he can either pay for that or do nothing for the rest of the game. But, uh, we're still in a bad spot here. But I think this is better than playing Maze Abomination. I think at this point we just need to take as little damage as possible so we can trade there and then trade there and trade there and then we take nine which is kind of a lot the only alternative to do is chump That just makes it worse because then, then he's got more stuff at us next turn. We have to do at least this much blocking or we're dead. 
Um, Alternatively, we could. So what happens if we double block here? Get rid of that maze rusher, and we're facing, and we take. Uh, we take seven, seven go to four, and then have to face down a greenside watcher and a centaur healer. I guess that's more survivable. I don't know if we should, if we do that, if we should even trade that there. Having that regeneration up could be pretty helpful. But I think we just can't afford to take any more damage. So. Alright. Oh, actually, we're dead. What did I think? Uh, I missed that the Boros Mastiff is still going to be around. Well, let's see if he, he, if he plays wrong. Maybe we should put the Maze Abomination instead of the Night Watch tunnel down here. So he was just faster than us that game, and we drew too many lands. Merciless eviction. Yeah, no more defenses. All right, so I think we want to cut one of these maze abominations. I do think we want uh, 18 lands, just to make sure we don't have to mulligan. And then I think this is just fine as is. And just hope he doesn't get too aggressive at us. Should be able to, to uh, slow him down. Roustabouts are kind of pretty awkward. Just having to keep up with the two mana is, is uh, not good. In that game we didn't have anything else to do, so it wasn't that big of an issue until it was at the end. But all right, let's go. Play first. This is a keep. He kept. Grimrost about, and he's going to be leashed. Well, he probably won't be back to block next turn. Uh, I could try to bluff in two points of damage, but it's not, or one point of damage, but it's not worth it. Choose a card to exile. Giant Growth, Active Treason, or Greenside Watcher. Um, hmm. Sorry, Active Treason or Giant Growth is complicated. So we need to make a note. So he's got planes. Stone. Rock, Mountain, GG, AOT, and Watcher. Um, I feel like the Act of Treason, like the other stuff I've got, and he's only got, yeah, so everything else is just going to be one for one. If 
wants to throw away the giant growth right now, that's fine too. <coughs> Still have your croc. Yep, that's fine. Huh. Well, this is a little bit awkward. So I can play the Keening Apparition and leave up Regeneration, or I can play the King's Pins Pet. I think the King Pin Pet is is uh, more important. Because he's not putting that much pressure on me right now. I want to get some extort triggers if I can't draw any more lands. Though that Night Watch might just be too good to pass up next turn. Also, this starts to put some pressure on him. Yeah. That's a bit of an issue, potentially. All right, so we did hit that. Attack with the King Pimps Pet, and then the question is whether we Keening Apparition Extort or Night Watch. I guess we just have to Night Watch. Or no, Keening Apparition Extort, that leaves up Regeneration Mana. So, forgot about that. Bird doesn't fly. Neener, neener. My pet does. Forgot about the regeneration mana. I think that was the correct play. So he detains him. I probably should have put a regeneration shield on him right there. Inside Watcher. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so he's played out everything I saw except for Giant Growth. I think I just use this as an opportunity to take out the Stone Fair Crocodile. It's, I mean, 8 mana, I would like to, to chop that, but. Terrace Worm. So we can Night Watch and extort this turn. His last card in hand is a Giant Growth. I think we just attack and then Night Watch. And hope we draw a land for a Terrace Worm, which is kind of a trump. So we definitely block here and we block here. The question is whether we want to essentially block the Azorius Arrestor. I don't think we do. It's a good chance we'll need him later on. And he'll probably giant growth the bronze beat Moa, unless he really wants to get aggressive and try and burn me. He's got some burn in hand. No, nope, saves the Moa. Alright, so 
Uh, probably should play the Jagger Drum in, in first, but we attack here. He attacks win with both of these. I don't think we try and make that trade. Uh oh, was this Muse Rusher? Okay. Okay. So that changes things. So we're definitely blocking there. Question is whether we take seven or not. I think we have to go ahead and trade off there. So we'll take four this turn. Not be in horrible shape here. We did draw that. So question is whether we want a terrorist worm. Okay. We attack with the king's pimp's pet and pay play the terrorist worm. He's got no cards in hand. Um, so we definitely have to leave leave Bronze Beak Moa back. It's worth noting that if I uh, scavenge this this guy onto a Grim Roustabout, um, he won't be able to block at that point. So that's a thing. Question is whether I want to attack with the Kingpin's pet or not. Um, I guess not. Fortunately, no extorts. All right. No attacks, and we will trade with the Maze Rusher if we need to. Centaur Healer, okay. That's an issue. That was a good draw for him. 3-3 three, three is going to be a little bit difficult for me to deal with here. Oh, he's got haste? Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, so maybe, let's see. How does that look? Take five, go to one life, leave up the worm. And what are my other alternatives? I can trade there and jump there. And scavenge onto this, make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. And he's got two creatures. I think maybe I have to do that first one. That way it's this Bronze Beak Moa versus Terrace Worm. I'm at one life though. So the problem is I don't really mind this guy dying, but like, things are just awkward. Things are very awkward here. All right, so do this. Go to one, and Bronze Beak Moa versus Terror Swarm. Um, or do that. I do need to at least chump, so I can chump there, and then we're looking at Bronze Beak Moa and Centaur Healer versus Kingpin's Pet. With some scavenge counters on them. That doesn't seem great either. We're all, there's three life instead of one, which is marginally better. Or we could do that and double block there and then have no creatures on board, so that doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, I think we just gotta do it like this. 
Or maybe we could just chop there and then leave the kingpin's pet up. But I think we need to get rid of that because the, the, the haste ability is just nasty. So, all right, final answer. Bronze Maul did some mighty nice work for him. Lands, not good. Alright, best turn. Hope he draws land as well. Don't have anything. What happened to my knight tokens? Alright, well, I can keep that back as a combat trick. Zer Tosvan, okay. So, assuming he sends that in. Yeah, I might as well just do it now. question is whether I definitely play that the question is whether I attack or not I guess so like he can block and we can trade I think like I just have to rely on him drawing nothing like I can't play around him drawing removal because if he draws removal for this or something he probably just wins anyway so my extort. Yeah, I would have been dead without that extort. Mad cap skills. Yep. I couldn't play around that. Good draw. I never drew that card. That card would have been decent against him. He had a couple of X1s. Soul Tide. Yeah. Eh, this is kind of an awkward deck. It had some power in it, but if you don't draw it, you don't draw it. So, can't be too disappointed. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.